What's up guys, it's McNulty here. Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Um, we do have another new hero dropped in today and the June summon is open. So we are live and direct back in the middle of Egypt. Um, we have a, a new hero in the Dunes portal called Heteferes, and we're going to have a look at Heteferes today, um, see what he, she, or it is all about. Um, not quite sure by the gender. Looks a bit more feminine, to be fair. Um, probably like the mum of that other cat. Um, I can't ever remember the name, but she pitches up a lot of the time in the... Um, rush tournaments where is she now this little three star uh this one rick rick hetra rick hetra um so i'm assuming that hetera freeze is like her mum or something like that anyways we have an ice hero uh five star of the cleric class so really good class as we know for healers they got a mana shield built in there she is of the Sun family, and the Sun family gets a bonus, which is for one or two heroes, 50 or 75% chance to cast, minus 35% accuracy for two turns. We're going to see why that's important in a second. And 196 burn damage over two turns um, on an enemy who deals any special skill damage to the character. Um, so a pretty good family bonus. I mean, by now we're all pretty familiar with that. They also get the 60% chance to boost health by 10%, which is super useful, especially because there's a lot of healing uh, going on in the Sun family. So in terms of stats, now we're going to start without the max power preview for Hetefries. We're looking at 743 attack, so lower on the attack. 861 defense, so super high. And 1563 health, so also extremely high. Um, now, interesting thing about her Teferis is that she is the first Dunes hero, if we whack the max power preview on, um, to hit a thousand team power um, with this uh, max power preview on. She is the first one to have done so. So congratulations, Hetefries. At least that's something. <laughs> Doesn't really mean anything, but there you go. Um, so you can see those stats. I mean, she's nearly a thousand defense and nearly two thousand HP um, with her max power on. So extremely survivable hero, very tanky. She's going to be able to sit there for quite a while and take a lot of damage. Now, the special skill is running at average speed and it is bewildering riddle. And to be fair, I'm a bit bewildered by it because she recovers 50 percent health for all allies. All allies then get plus 84% defense against nature and a further 2% increase every time they're hit during four turns and all enemies get minus 40% accuracy for four turns. So the reason I'm a bit bewildered by this is that she's quite basic, I would say, and not difficult to deal with. So what she's got there is a big heal for all allies it's not a boosted health yes she does have the chance to boost health because she's part of the family and she gets that bonus or the passive she gets the bonus um but yeah it's a plain straightforward 50 percent heal for all allies at average speed which is a big heal granted but it's nothing out of this world she is giving defense against nature which is a huge massive defense against nature and obviously she's blue so if you put her in as a tank it's going to be a problem um, but it can be dispelled and all enemies are getting minus 40% accuracy as well but that can be cleansed so you've got to obviously plan around the fact that you're going to need to dispel one effect and cleanse another effect which can be a bit annoying but a lot of these dunes heroes will do that anyway even the big upfront damage dealers will be adding an effect and, and, and um, an ailment, even if it's just from the passive. Um, so, yeah, I'm not completely sold on this hero, as I think you can possibly hear. I mean, the stats are brilliant. The special skill is, it's good. I mean, she's a really good healer. She's a good average speed healer. But there's nothing else there. She's not cleansing. She's not increasing mana. Um, she's not dispelling. I mean, all of these effects are the things that we're going to look out for more than increased defense and minus accuracy on the enemy. So 
While she is a usable hero, and I do think that she could definitely be worked into most teams, I don't think that she is a standout in any way. And maybe they've just featured Hitefreeze at, as this at this specific time because we are in a, a seasonal event and uh, we do have the soul exchange which i think is coming up tomorrow morning so i got my work cut out for me there um but yeah hetev freeze is an okay hero i would say you know if i was going to give a grade it would be a b maybe even a b minus but i couldn't do that to her just with those kind of stats and i mean she just looks super fly as well so um based on that alone we're going to let her stay at average um so in terms of the other featured heroes, I would say Set is a pretty awesome hero. Uh, there is some good use for him, especially in Rush. Um, and Tetasheri is also an excellent hero. So I <laughs> probably want one of the other featureds, to be fair. But congrats if you did pull anybody from this portal. Um, hope your luck's a little bit better than mine at the minute. Not having any luck with the five stars, but it will change soon, I'm sure. Um, so please drop us a like, subscribe if you found the video helpful, uh, drop us a comment. I look forward to hearing from you all and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next video.